So, I woke up to this exciting news that Meta has announced the release of Horizon OS. We are releasing Meta Horizon OS. They're not limiting this OS to just their devices. Instead, they've opened it up for third-party headset makers like Asus and Lenovo as well. But there's a bigger news for us developers. And what's that? It's a brand new spatial framework. Yes, that's right. Meta says that they're building a new spatial framework that allows mobile developers to bring their existing apps into Meta Horizon OS. Whether you're bringing an existing app or whether you're creating a new app from scratch, the new framework should make your life easier by letting you use the tools that you're already familiar with. And what are those tools? Here's a list of it. And if you can't find one that you're currently using, then you can specify that as well. So if you're a developer who wants to build an application or migrate your existing application into Meta's Horizon OS, then you can find the link to apply for the access in the description below. Now this move from Meta is set to create a larger ecosystem for developers and provide the consumer with more options. So what does this mean for us developers? Is it good? Is it bad? I guess it's a bit of both. Let me explain. At the heart of Horizon OS are the core technologies like inside-out tracking, self-track controllers, and various forms of body tracking. These technologies empower developers like you and me to create immersive mixed reality experiences that for once is tough for science fiction. Meta is putting a strong emphasis on social presence. With the Horizon OS, developers can build applications that facilitate meaningful interactions between the users, fostering a sense of community within the metaverse. And with the new ties with Asus, Lenovo and Xbox, means that you're tapping into a growing user base of mixed reality headset users. Meta has also included various monetization options like in-app purchases, subscription and advertising. So there's plenty of potential for revenue generation within the platform. However, it's worth noting that Meta chose not to collaborate with Google, which is coming up with Android XR and has a partnership with Samsung. This could limit some of the cross-platform opportunities and may require additional work if you want to run your applications on those devices. This could also mean that if you have an application on Play Store already, then migrating it to Android XR should not be that difficult. So in conclusion, Meta's Horizon OS offers a platform for all sorts of developers to create compelling mixed reality applications, publish it on their store which has a huge user base and monetize from it as well. This is really exciting. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.